Hello, today I would like to show you operation that can allow you save a really serious amount of money. This is a tabletop SAS external LTO drive. They are expensive, even if you would take a look at the LTO file 4 drive or 5 drive, they are quite obsolete but still very expensive. And this is the SAS interface. This is something that you can have uh, currently using. This is uh, still in use. You can have like a older SCSI, but you should not be interested in them. This is a good interface. They are also a fiber channel, but it is quite complicated to get it running and my goal is to hook it up into the MacBook. But the main idea is that you can buy quite cheaply broken unit and they are not expensive or with a missing drive. And then you can buy cheaply LTO5 or up as a internal drive and you can do the swap by yourself. So in this operation, we are going to change a inexpensive broken enclosure with a relatively inexpensive LTO5 internal drive. And we are going to make a very expensive LTO5 tabletop drive. So quite interesting operation. And at the end of the day, we are going to hook it up to the MacBook. Let's start from opening the enclosure. And we just need to remove four screw. One of them have a hole, so we have to be aware of that. I purchased the same company. Both are IBM and they should be uh, fully compatible. The external enclosure is just a power supply and for the SAS connector is just a pass-through. So it's not, do not have any active component and it should be fully operational. Okay. And we are going to slide the enclosure. And that's the content. We've got the power supply. We've got a fan. We've got the SAS pass through that is hooked up to the Molex cable from the power supply. We also have got the service port which is located here and it utilizes the tiny connector that we are also going to replace and how to take out the drive here we've got that lever this is like a toolless operation first we disconnect both cables just like that and here the idea is that we have to pry in that direction to release it. And we can take it out. That drive was broken. I purchased it not working. And let's take a look. So we are going to swap that element. This is our new but working drive. We can clearly see that we are going to have to remove those screw. Maybe we are lucky. We are very lucky because they were hand tied. So that's the location and this go 
the direction we are pulling that like this to release so everything is looking perfect the SAS from that side the service port we should be careful not to drop the the working unit and the idea is we're just going to slide it and it locked in place and this is telling me that we are going to have a absolutely great job the power and the SAS it hook up the service port it's also in place as you can see we've got a perfect match and I can pull the enclosure As you can see, we are hooked up to my test server via the SAS. We've got the LTO5 tape, and I just created a LTFS partition on the tape, and we've got a great success. So, yes, we've got the LTO5 drive in the LTO4 enclosure. So I'm after doing test and everything is working absolutely great. We've got a full success. As you can see, I've got the SAS cable. Hook it up. And by doing that operation, we seriously save a lot of money. So if you've got a broken drive, you can easily replace it by yourself or you can make yourself a upgrade. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.